Hey guys, here we go again. My name is Irvin, also known as Koboman. We're continuing where we left off. Our previous video was about Outlook issue. Today it's going to be about a printer. I'm going to work the printer ticket. I'm going to show you how to install a printer for a user and how you can also communicate that with the user in a proper way so it's not confusing because there are multiple things you actually have to get from the user in order to do this properly. It's a really good video for a help desk. That being said, it's based or it comes from my large video that I made that's about two hour long training specifically for help desk. If you want to check that out, it's right there. And that being said, please take one second to like the video. I know I say this every video, but thank you so much, guys. You're awesome. All right, let's get into it. By the way, if you're still with me, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys so much. One more ticket, guys. It's this one here it says I need help installing a printer very common one very good one we're going to work on this one I need help installing printer <laughs> sorry guys I'm changing a little bit here because I'm getting a little tired uh, but we're gonna you know I'm, I'm we're gonna fight through we're almost almost done here I'm trying to install a printer but it's not working we're going to reply to the customer say hello my name is Irvin with help desk what kind of printer are you trying to add local printer or network printer Now this can be confusing to to the user, to the customer. Because what I'm actually trying to figure out is actually are they at home? Are they working from home? Are they trying to add, add a local printer? Or are they trying to add a network printer which is actually in an, an office? But to them, network printer could also be a local printer. Sometimes they don't know. You know, but that's okay. We're trying to find more information about it and see what's going on. But we can also say also, can you please send me your PC name with, and you know what, let's, let's, let's hold off on this part of it. Because what they reply here next is going to be very crucial. So if they first reply and say, and usually I, I like to be more proactive, but I don't want to be, I don't want it to be too much for the user because sometimes users can't, and this is not their fault necessarily. This is just how human mind works. They can't multitask. If I'm asking you too many things at once, it may be confusing. So I'm going to wait for them to reply to this. And they may say, well, it's my local printer at home or it's printer at the office. Scenario number one, local printer. Question number two. Are you allowed to install a printer, local printer, for somebody that works from home? This is another security issue. This has to be approved and allowed by your company. You should know this, or if you don't, ask a coworker, ask your manager whether they're allowed, whether you are allowed to install local printer for them. And I'll show you how you can do that. If it's a network printer, then that should be no problem. You know, they, some people are not allowed to print either, depending who they are. But chances are they are allowed to print on a network printer because it's at the office. You know, there's a, a there there are recycle bins there that are security recycle bins. Chances are that will recycle sensitive material and all that stuff. Companies don't really like to actually have printers around uh, because of security issues. So we got to be careful about this. We got to find this out. Um, if possible, I would call them and talk to them. Uh, if not, I would find a faster way of actually asking multiple questions like over IM and not necessarily over email. I would not handle this over email because there are more things that uh, we, we need to find out. But in this case, let's pretend that they want to add a network printer and then we're going to say after they, after we get their reply, say, okay, in that case, can you please send me the IP address 
off the printer you're trying to add let's do this I can add the printer for you however I need your PC name to take control remotely so you gotta word this the best way you can because we you know we're doing multiple things here and we're trying to get multiple pieces of information from them and we're gonna do this so let's kinda go over it again okay I can add the printer for you however I need your PC name to take control of control remotely and can you please send me the IP address of the printer you're trying to add so of your PC remotely so we need to know their PC name and I didn't want to say can you send me your PC name or IP address because I'm already asking for IP address for their printer and I don't want there to be any confusion on the customer's part I want them to give me PC name and the IP addresses of the printer IP address of the printer trying to add you see what I'm saying keep it as simple as possible but trying to get as much information as you can as quickly as possible in a easy to understand manner once we get this information we're gonna to go to their computer and here we are at their computer again uh, we're again assuming that we're using the same computer name that we used throughout this whole lesson and the way you would check to see what kind of printers they have installed we're going to go to the search bar and you can, you can get to this through the control panel as well but I'm going to say devices and printers here we go printers and scanners devices and printers we want to get to here guys this is this is where you can see device number and I'll show you a different version of it which is was the typical one but this is the what I call Mickey Mouse version of Windows 10 that shows you more a large letter font type of thing where it simply shows you if there are any printers installed already and they would all be here all right and then if it's not here which we don't see one we can simply click add a new one so now it's looking for what it's doing is searching for printers and scanners locally and on the network and if it doesn't find one we can simply click here the printer I uh, here I'm looking for the pl the printer that I want isn't listed other way of going to this here is control panel devices and printers here and we can see right away that it looks totally different than what we were looking at before this is actually showing us the whole thing that's on here it's showing us the whole thing that's connected to the computer devices and printers so every device you know whether it's a USB or or whatnot or monitor or you know the headset that we talked about earlier and of course if there are any printers they will be listed here but of course there is a button guess where we need to go we're going to click on the add printer and this is the same thing we looked at earlier but this is just how it looks like that's how it used to look like before before Windows 10 Mickey Mouse looking stuff you know and uh, <laughs> they, they try to make everything look so pretty and that just created multiple places for the same thing which doesn't make sense to me why not just keep it the way it is where it's just one place for one thing you know anyways that's a different video okay so it's not gonna find anything what I'm gonna do is click uh, the printer that I want isn't listed so same thing we did earlier and then here you can add the printer multiple ways where it's a Bluetooth wireless local printer blah 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 select anything that you want but in this case we're going to select a network printer which is going to be added using TCP IP address or host name or an IP address that we got from the customer and here we're just going to type it in for example 168.2.1 whatever it's whatever the static IP address is for that printer it's gonna to have to be a static IP address because you know it's a printer it doesn't we gotta have a static IP address so everybody can connect to the same printer all the time and then we're gonna leave it here where it says query 
the printer and automatically select the driver to use. What that does, it pings the printer and says, hey, I'm trying to add you, but do you have a driver? And then the, if it's like a more advanced or a newer printer, it's going to have that driver. It's going to automatically push it to the computer and it's going to install it. You know, same thing when you're adding a local printer, you may have to download the driver, install the driver. But then you would just simply search for the specific name of the printer. You know, once you click next, it may, if it doesn't find, if it doesn't find the driver and it's going to bring you to uh, nothing's going to happen here, so I can't really show you this at this time. But what happens, it's it's going to say, okay, I found this IP address. I know it's a printer there, but which one is it? And then you go through a list that's available there, and you select which model, like, for example, Xerox, blah, 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 and you select and you tell it which printer there is, that, that which type of printer that you're trying to connect. So if it doesn't query and download the driver automatically you're gonna to have to ask the user can you tell me the name and model of that printer so that way you can get those drivers and install them properly once you do that it's gonna automatically <clears throat> set it as default kinda of like this so if you see one like that just make sure that it's set as default as the one that she wants he or she wants and then make sure it's set as default see if you have that uh, green um, circle with a check mark in the middle okay and now we're going to add a external or internal note I should say added printer as requested Irvin and I'm going to close the ticket well, there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this uh, short premiere video. I know it's short. I wish I could uh, make them longer. Uh, I will do that sometimes as well. But these short ones, I can at least take a break from my work, from my main job. So that way I can hang out with you guys. In case you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, leave them in the comments below. I'm sorry if I missed your uh, questions. I know it, it happens really quick sometimes. And if you do still have a question and need me to answer it, please leave it in the comments below. All right, guys, that's all for today. I'll see you next time, maybe even tomorrow. We'll see. Thank you. Bye-bye.